Okay, so the poor old Herkus stand has had the back chopped off it and that's going to form one of the sides of the new laid stand. See, we've repurposed the old Herkus stand, welded up all the holes, had to drill out some spot welds and just welded those up, cut it to shape and just welded it in as the side panel. So that'll serve us just fine. That's only about 16 gauge, 1.6 millimeter. So that'll be adequate for the sides. So the other option I've got for this drum switch is I could always mount it up on the backboard somewhere and that would let me run the cables internally in this rear leg, which would be pretty tidy as well. Tidy way to do it. Um, but it still doesn't absolve me of the problem of having to reach across the lathe to switch it on and off. So the other option was to mount it tucked under here, but to do that I need to drop it down here somewhere so there's room to actuate it and again there's a risk that I'll knock it with a knee and switch the lathe on or one of my kids might do that if they're in the workshop with me which is bad. And the other thing that'll do is it just makes my door in here a lot shorter. So this was originally my idea was to stick it up under here but I think for both safety and space considerations I'm going to mount it up on the backboard so I'll have to I will have to reach over the lathe but maybe I'll mount it on on this side away from the chuck so either way I'm going to just leave myself the option of uh, putting a bracket on here mount the drum switch on here I can run the cabling out the bottom into the leg down the leg and out the back and onto the lathe so that'll work pretty well I've also got a switch for the light and the coolant pump so I'll mount the three of those probably together up in this range somewhere okay so I've chopped up some three millimeter or roughly one eighth steel plate for the base and I've just set my bucket which will be the coolant bucket there'll be a pump sitting in the bottom in the cavity towards the back so there's not much of a gap in the back there and I've just knocked in a quick line with a sharpie and just got some old scrap rusty old angle line just which was lying around and I'm just going to put some put these in here just so that if the buckets moved in or out I can relocate it back in the exactly the same position again because it'll be a drain coming from the pan under the lathe and that'll be refilling the coolant bucket so I need to keep this position relatively accurate within a couple of millimeters or so so we'll just use these just to guide the bucket back into the correct position if we have to move it okay just gone and picked up some gate hinges from the hardware store I had to tip $15 into these guys but they'll allow me to carry some pretty serious load on the doors so there's a ball bearing in the bottom of that and the pin just sits on that so you can just fill that full of grease and weld both of these parts on they'll go on the frame they go on the doors and away you go so we'll go into that now okay so i've just welded up a rectangular frame here for the door and I've used just again some scrap. This is probably 30 millimeter, inch and a quarter square. And the reason I wanted to use a square is, as I said, I was going to probably use the inside of the door and hang some parts off it on the inside, which will be in this cavity in here in front of the bucket. So not knowing exactly how I was going to use that space inside the door at least with the square section I can screw into the sides of the square and the bottom to use that to support whatever I decide to do inside here so I'm just going to sheet this front with some light gauge steel see if I can cut up some more of the Herkus stand and you reuse that and I've just got these gate hinges as you saw and I've welded the stubs onto the gate uh, even though I measured it two or three times I've just not quite left myself enough room to get this um, hinge flap in here 
so it's just a little bit a little bit tight so there'll be really very little or no gap on this side here so what I think I'll do is I'll cut these hinge, hinge plates off here and then I can weld them just outside the or on the edge of the frame rather than on on the inside I'll weld them just on the edge of the square tube and the leg and that'll just buy me a few more millimeters of space so I'll do that now I'll just give these a chop and weld them on